Because I, I don't do the taxes. I don't know how to do the taxes. Accountants do the taxes. I treat them like voodoo witch doctors. I bring them a hefty bag of my papers. I leave. They come up with a figure. And I don't care how they do it either. As far as I'm concerned, as soon as I leave, they burn my papers and throw some chicken bones on a dirt floor. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, refund. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No refund this year. I have to pay money. After the government kept all the money I'd lent them for the year, I have to pay it two dollars. Two dollars. I have to write out a two dollar check to the U.S. government. I mean, I was going to blow it off. Two dollars. I mean, what the? Then I got paranoid. If I didn't pay the money, President Reagan would come on television one night. Well, the reason we're not getting all our hostages back is we're two dollars short. <laughs> Money. Eddie, you owe me money. George C. Scott, the hustler. I just threw it in there for a little bit of like flavoring. That's all it is. It's a, not a big joke, but you movie buffs will go. Very interesting, very interesting. That was good. Put in a George C. Scott line. Very nice. Very good. I love that. Because money, that's what people fight about money, arguments about money. Couples know that. You argue about money. I think that the myth is that women spend more money than guys because they shop more. Guys actually buy more expensive things, it kind of evens out. But whoever's doing the bills, that's the one who flips out. Whoa! 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 Oh! Hey, babe, come here a minute! Come here, come here. We have a little economic discussion here. See, you can't spend more than you take in. Stop me if I sound out of line. Look at these bills. There's yours, there's yours, there's yours. When you come up for air in these places anyway? There's yours, there's yours. You gotta cut down, you're spending too much money. What about your boat? What do you mean my boat? I need my boat. What do you mean about my boat? You know, you know that fish you ate last night that I caught with my boat? That fish would cost ten dollars in the store. I catch four thousand more of those fish. That boat pays for itself. <laughs> we don't want to look through here, cause I don't see any of your dresses making money here. That can be arranged. All right, all right. All right. Oh, they turned. <laughs> <laughs> they go, what, what was that? Was he cutting the woman up there? It became an acting piece all of a sudden, didn't it? As I mean, the things in your, in, that you have to have different activities. That's the whole deal. Men and women, we can't hang out together all the time. We drive each other nuts. No matter how much we love each other. That's how I believe that guys who've been married 15 years come up with hobbies like duck hunting. I mean, it's the only explanation I can come up with for a guy who wants to stand in freezing marsh water at five in the morning. <laughs> He's out there going, well, at least she's not here. <laughs> Having a good time, Frankie? You bet. <laughs> There are a lot of good things about romance. Back rubs. Everybody loves a back rub. But you know as a couple, when it comes to trading back rubs, you better get yours first. Because second in line always gets short chain. Uh, you gonna wake up for my turn? No. Yeah. Too good. Give yourself a back rub. <laughs> there are th certain things you do together as a couple, intimate things you do only after you've been together for a period of time. It takes a while to get into. But I don't care what else you've done on a first date, you'll never end a first date by going, Denise had a great time. Really, I did. Listen, though, before I leave, would you get these pimples on my back? <laughs> Come on, there's one in the middle I can't get to. I don't tell him that baby's not ready. I've been watching for three days now. That baby's ready to go. All right, have it your way, but you're missing a good one there. Disgusting. 
Oh, yeah. And those things to argue about jealousy, you're going to argue about jealousy. Men get jealous, women get jealous. Maybe some of you other guys have made the mistake I've made. You know, it's late at night. You're tired, you're not really thinking sharp. You're watching TV with your woman, maybe a movie on like Body Heat, an actress on the screen like Kathleen Turner. Your woman asks you that question, you think she's pretty? You say something stupid like, yeah. <laughs> Takes you a while to pay that one off, doesn't it? <laughs> hey dear, will you scratch my neck? Let's get Kathleen Turner to scratch your neck. <laughs> And sometimes your arguments come out of nowhere. Have you ever been waking in the middle of the night by the other person? Wake up, wake up. I had a nightmare about you. 